Hi guys, I've been here looking ahead to Porto versus Liverpool, the Champions League last 16 tie. There's been two months in the making. Feels like I've been waiting forever uh, for this game to actually happen. It is right around the corner now. Liverpool uh, with the chance to advance into the last eight in Europe for the first time in ages, in, in the Champions League anyway. And this is our only chance of silverware now, so this has to be considered the biggest game of the season to date. We're out of the FA Cup, not in a League Cup. We're not going to win the Premier League. Um, we know we can go deep in European competitions. Jurgen Klopp has done it himself uh, with us in the Europa League. This is obviously going to be much, much tougher. But out of the last 16 ties that we could have got, Porto is one of the nicer ones. They are undefeated this season, apart from in the Champions League. They are play 21, 117, drawn four in the league. They're still in the Domestic Cup too, so their form on the whole has been fantastic. They've only conceded one goal in the last six games. They've got the likes of Abubakar and Morega up front who are constant, constant threats, although Abubakar is apparently doubtful for this one. He may need a late fitness test there, but even so, they've still got the likes of Brahimi and Danilo, lots of players that can damage Liverpool. Um, whether it's going to be a 4-4-2 as they, as they often play in the league and a direct threat remains to be seen. Liverpool, I'm sure, will stick to, stick to their guns, play the usual formation, the usual tactics, lots of pace from wide areas, maybe go... 4-4-2, uh, match him like for like if we fancy that, uh, with Salah playing up front with Firmino, but either way it's going to be interesting. Liverpool are marginal favourites to win this first leg with 5-4, um, with Porto being 2-1. Liverpool are clear favourites to advance in the tie though, with odds of 5-2 on, uh, with Porto being 7-4. So. Nice, nice, nice tie for Liverpool, but far from an easy one. Porto have got a winning habit. They're a good, solid side. Um, I remember we played them about a decade ago in the competition. We drew away from home. Um, so we don't want to be taking them for granted. Uh, it's going to be hostile. It's going to be... It's not going to be a, a warm, friendly um, you know, party atmosphere there. It's going to be hostile. Uh, but we've got to go there and just play a normal game because... Uh, we've gone over that blip with that loss at Swansea, we lost against West Brom. Uh, we bounced back pretty well with seven points from three games against Huddersfield, Spurs and Southampton. It was a really solid win on Sunday at St Mary's, a game that just, I mean, I was there, it was just very, very routine, just like Huddersfield was. So it's great to have these away performances under our belt. This is obviously going to be much tougher, but... I'm feeling okay about it. I think if we can get out of there with an away goal, even if it's a 2-1 deficit we come back with or a one all draw, I'm not going to be too disheartened. I think the uh, the Anfield crowd will see us home in the second leg if, if it's not out of sight by them, but it really shouldn't be because uh, Porto are playing against pretty, pretty crap teams week in, week out. They have suffered defeat twice in the Champions League, so Leipzig and Besiktas have proven that they are not invincible by any stretch of the imagination. They're a decent side, but not one we should fear at all. So... Let's look at a predicted 11. Loris Karras played pretty well on Sunday. Um, a couple of decent saves and he's looking a bit more comfortable than he ever has, if I'm honest with you. So that's positive. He's not a player I particularly rate, but if he's going to carry on like this, then that's absolutely fine for the rest of the season. Uh, now, Joe Gomez could well be back for this one. I remember Klopp saying last week that he wouldn't be fit for Southampton, but uh, should be okay for this. Whether he'll be thrown straight back into the starting lineup, I'm not entirely sure. I would say that I think he will, um, just because maybe he's a bit more solid defensively traditionally than Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, Centre-back, I think uh, Matip and Van Dijk will keep their places. Both played pretty well on Sunday, uh, Van Dijk in particular. Robertson at left-back for me. Uh, Emery Chan suspension means that you're probably looking at Jordan Henderson coming back in uh, alongside Jeannie Wijnaldum. And I think James Milner will make up that midfield. Uh, just think him being rested uh, from the start on Sunday and... Uh, it being away in Europe and us needing some experienced heads in the side and him being you know, as experienced as they come, I just think that's probably how we're going to do it. Uh, and then obviously the front three picks itself, Mane, Salah, Firmino, goals galore, pace galore. And Liverpool will be favourites and Liverpool will be disappointed if anything other than at least 2-1 uh, at worst or 3-2 uh, you know, at worst, just a one-goal deficit and an away goal. But to be honest, even that would... I think we can aim much higher than that this time. I don't think we have to be conservative. I think coming out of there with a win is very, very possible. We've played well away from home in this competition so far. Um, obviously, the first half against Sevilla, we were unplayable and then collapsed. 7-0 uh, against Maribor and the worst one of the lot was 1-0 in, in Moscow. But although this is a better side than at least two of those, um, I think we can at least expect a score draw here. 
Um, we've got a weekend off after this, so all of our energy can be focused onto this game. There's no FA Cup tie on Saturday or Sunday, so that's great. Uh, it'll be a week and a half before we play again against West Ham. So, score prediction. Now, I'm going to kind of sit on the fence and go for a 1-1 draw here. I think we'll take the lead, um, but I do expect Porto to have a spell, and they have got dangerous creative players in the final third. I do think they will nick a goal from us, uh, but I think one will win and take them back to Anfield and finish the job. I'd be happy with that. I think Mo Salah will get our goal, because he always seems to. Um, but yeah, let's just hope for a great, great day out. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if you're going to be there, and if you are, make sure you come and say hello. Um, you know, it's, it's mainly away games that you guys come and say hello, so yeah, make sure you do. If you see me, I'm going to be uh, in the square most of the afternoon. It's going to be a fantastic day, although the weather apparently isn't supposed to be good, uh, but we won't let that stand in the way of a great little session throughout the day, and uh, God knows what else in the evening, but it's going to be great fun. The Reds... Uh, I'd love them to do the business out there. I'd love to advance into the last eight because once you get into the last eight, yes, you're dealing with the likes of PSG and Barcelona and Bayern Munich and Man City and whoever, but, you know, three tyres away, that would be three tyres away uh, from glory and you just wouldn't put it past them if we're doing something special. Um, we're in good nick. We're not setting the world light like we were at one point this season, especially when Coutinho is in the side, but, you know, let's, uh, let's hope. Uh, because if you can't do that, then what is the point? Leave a comment with your score prediction and your starting lineup. Any thoughts you have going into this game and any thoughts on what went down in Southampton? I know I uploaded a match review kind of thing or a day trip, but um, I was so shattered. Probably wasn't my best video of all time. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the less said about that one, the better. Anyway, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. It's Ben Say on all of those platforms, and I'll see you after Porto. I'll do it.